In this video, we are going to look at the separation and detection of unknown amorphous by paper chromatography. It is done with the help of min hydrogen, which reacts with ammonia acid to give a purple color. So the reagents and materials required are sample A, sample B, unknown sample, solvent solution, min hydrogen solution, Wattman number on filter paper, syringe, beaker, and so the reagents required to prepare solvent solution is butanol, acetic acid, water in the ratio 4 is to 1 is to 5. So take a Wattman filter, number 1 filter paper, draw a horizontal line at an interval of 2 cm. Mark three spots, A, B, and C. Draw sample A on one spot. Draw sample B on another spot. And finally, the unknown sample, which is to be found on another spot. So, so this works on the principle of difference in partition coefficient between the mobile phase and the stationary phase. The stationary phase is cellulose water conjugated one. So, drop the water filter paper in the solvent solution. The solute molecules move through couple reaction so so drop in hydrogen solution uniformly over Wattman filter paper for the reaction to occur reaction between amino acids and inhydrin gives purple color and to uni to amino acids like proline and hydroxyproline it may be a yellow color. So after inhydrin place it on hot rubber for a few minutes you can see the differential migration of different amino acids on the Wattman filter paper. So, calculation order of value, the distance traveled by amino acid, that is solute, divided by distance in centimeter traveled by the solvent from the solution. Sample A is glycine, you can see as 0.363, sample B is tyrosine as 0.563. And the unknown sample whose order of value is similar to tyrosine as 0.563. So the unknown sample is found to be tyrosine.